Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 17. Last time we went and checked out a whole bunch of stuff, but most importantly we did this lovely little side quest for Hayeta running around uh, fighting off madness for her uh, as we were giving her a bunch of eyeballs and we completed her questline, I guess, as much as possible as we, as we can for now. She's moved on. Uh, we discovered... Finally, Jarberg, <laughs> down this side of the cliff, um, and then we also went up through all of this pathway here to meet uh, the smithing master EG, and we've made it to Carrier Manor, which is uh, a hellscape of, uh, of giant hands, essentially hand spiders. Um, so I'm gonna, because I can, when we make it through here, because i got to get my runes, is I'm going to bring Latena with me, because I actually want to, like, I want to do ooh, some spirit ashes. Oh, God, I forgot that they just jump out of the ground like that. Oh, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to fucking die already. I'm going to die real quick. All right. Let's go, Latena. Oh, that's so sick. She's shooting out multiple... Just shooting out. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Well, that was awesome. That was great. Um, that was a great summon. That was good. I'm a fan of that, and now I'm going to run away. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking hate this area already. Holy crap. So I'm going to leave, because these things are literally mowing down trees. In the name of, in the name of me, I'm going to get my runes back wherever they may be. There they are, but I have to be careful because giant hands are going to come out of the ground. So I have to really pick and choose where I want to get my runes back. All right, let's have a look. Are there any hands nearby? There's this guy. Okay. I reckon I can safely get these. No hands, please. Okay. Just small hands. We're okay. Perfect, guys. We're off to a great start. So summoning the tenor takes all of my FP. All of it. Um, let's have a look at our let's have a look at our our ashes. Now we've we've strengthened the spirit jellyfish a little bit, and it's good to the taking aggro. That would be kind of nice. The banished knight. Engval is very, very expensive. Because we literally have 74 FP, so we can summon Latena, but it costs everything that we know. We've got Twin Sage Sorcerer, that's pretty cool, because that would be a Sorcerer from a distance. Same with Glinstone Sorcerer. Uh, Marionette Soldiers. Maybe ones that's like multiple enemies, like a group is actually pretty cool. The Ancestral Follower would actually be kind of cool as well. Um... I'm going to chuck a couple of these on my thing, and then hopefully I don't regret it by having it be too crowded. But I'll try out, I'll try out a couple, at least, and we'll see, we'll see how we go. And then I should probably strengthen them if I, if I actually like them. Um, but yeah, we've barely touched this area last time we got to that point where I literally died, <laughs> and I've got my runes back. Um, you're guarding a door. There's just so many of them. I can't even do unsheath. Because I'm out of FP! It's like they're objectively not super strong, but it's just like... Their attacks are funny. <laughs> Ooh, you can interrupt their little gravity spell. Oh! Yep. Little hand stampede. Okay. Thank you. Floating hand. At least these are like a one hit. That's nice. Um, I'm going to switch out my Uji Katana. Because we've been sleeping on... I've been doing this on purpose. is because um, I know that Bloodhound's Fang this whole time has been like more powerful. <laughs> and I've been like loving having my Uji still. Uh, good old Uji Katana. 
but it's time. We've upgraded a few weapons, and I, I just want... I want a different one so I can experiment with, uh, you know, different attack types uh, for a little while. And then I'm going to start trying to level up some other weapons as well so we can do the, the same thing. Because I have rocked the katana for, like, quite a while, uh, even though I'm quite attached to it because it's great and it fits my character. Especially now that we've discovered the joys of, uh, of dual wielding as well. So nice. I think for now... We're going to run around with our bloodhounds, uh, our bloodhounds for Ness, which is kind of cool. And then we've got our stamina increase on our back with our turtle shell. We've got a carrier knight, Lady Rani. Lady Rani, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon carrier. I love the concept of uh, these spirits that are like left behind, giving us some tiny little tidbits of lore. It reminds me a little bit of um, Bloodborne. Bloodborne has like little tiny lore notes scattered throughout the world that you can't have in your inventory. It's just like you go to a place and you read like a note about it. It's, it's quite similar to that, which is cool. Touch grace, baby. Okay, I'm gonna ditch these. I'm gonna ditch these runes. It's time to level up. <laughs> we'll level up, so I don't have to worry about. No, all right, hang on. Uh, pop some of these bad boys. You know what? Maybe I should do for the for the first time. Finally, um, is I should I should use a rune arc and then actually utilize the power of my great rune while we're in this area. I've got 11 of them now, so I wasn't using them for a while because we only had like a few, but now we've actually picked them up. And they seem to be essentially our like humanity or like ember, you know? All right, is that enough to level up or am I too shy? There we go, perfect. Um, more health, please. Now. Oh uh, yeah, I've got my third talisman, just critical hits, restoring HP, stamina recovery speed, raising attributes but increasing damage taken. Let me... Let's see. I don't even know what we're really going up against here. We've got hands that do some gravity, but that's not necessarily... It's not necessarily hugely in my way. Maybe maybe guard counters. Maybe I'll enhance my jump attacks and we'll just be jumping with this thing some more. That's fun. Okay, let me try that. So I've leveled up. I don't have to worry about those runes anymore. Smithing stone number four. Lovely. This looks like a place that would have like a nice amount of uh, illusory walls. Alright, we need to get up there somehow as well. Okay, let's have a look outside. Now, while we're currently combing through... What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a hand. <laughs> While we're currently combing through this place, we're going to explore this place for a bit. Um, but there are a lot of areas that we've previously visited that I know are incomplete as well. Just to mention that, like, I do want to do another pass through Rea Lucaria. Uh, we need to figure out Tetsu's Rise. Uh, we've still got, like, the, uh, the puzzle towers as well. Um, where is it? Puzzle tower here somewhere, like the converted for the converted tower puzzles. Like we got to figure that out still. Uh, I do want to go here and visit Grank, the beast clergyman, because obviously D has had nothing to do except tell us to go here for the longest time. So I might go through this sending gate as well. I've just been scared to go east because I get distracted and then I'm just like, oh, we're going east now. So I like, I've been avoiding this area intentionally, but we should probably speak to this beast clergyman because it's been like a little while. Okay, spirits. 
that's also on my mind. Enhanced jump attack, baby. Well, we got that Bloodhound's finesse. What's the one-handed version like? I'm going to have to two-hand it if I want to use the actual skill, though. Oh, right. We got those traps. I forgot about that. I wonder if that's... Where are we in the castle? So, this is the... Okay, so that's the main gate. So down there is essentially where, we've, where we started. Cool. Oh, this is going to be fun. We're going to be here for a while, aren't we? Let's try not and fall off. It's funny because this is... What, what is this weapon? This is like a C deck scaling. It's like... It's a big boy, so I keep walking around just like... Thinking like... This is like a strength weapon almost. <laughs> That's a trap there. Are they spawning behind us? Yep. Shit. Oh. Okay, enhanced jump attacks is what I like to see here. Instead of taking two hits, I can do it in one. Efficiency. And then I'm... Oh. But I'm not faster than they are, and they hit actually quite hard. So it's almost like me just not wanting to take risks. Ooh, really kind Greaves. Let's go. More hands. Great. Ooh, who is this? Hang on. Who's this? Oh fuck, it's a, another one of those um another one of those fucking iron virgins. I keep wanting to call them Iron Maidens instead. Because I just got up to a particular point in Berserk. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. I'm here in an... Oh, okay, we've got a lift. Okay, so I think we can jump down onto a ledge back there. Okay, we've got a grace point. That's nice. It's in like the upper area. Might ditch the longbow while we're in here. And then we were also leveling the hook claws, weren't we? We've got hook claws at plus six. Which has quick step. Nice. And then we got our jump attack with this as well. So it'll be a Wolverine Samurai, Silver Samurai. Type beat. I like that. And then also fuck around with the blood. Blood fang. I'm waiting to get, like, a full armor set or more armor pieces that will, like, replace what I've currently got as well. It's just hard to replace a turtle samurai, guys. <laughs> it's so hard to replace turtle samurai. Get me a golden seed. These are some big wolf boys. Oh god. That's weak. Oh yeah, but it also infix, inflicts bleeding, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. That it does. Excuse me, is that an enemy or friend pot though? Look at that. Dude, what if that's what if that's our boy? What if that's our pot, bro? He's on his own. If there was a bunch of smaller pots, I'd be more suspicious that it would be an enemy. 
I'm hiding. You can't find me. Can you backstab one of these bad boys? I wonder. Stealth Wolverine, let's go! Oh my god. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Just smacking this fucking dude in the face. Alright. Lump of flesh. Can I use torrent here? No. Oh, there, no, these these guys are just actually quite decently tough in general. Yeah, okay. These wolves just have a lot of health. For a second, I thought it was because I would be doing less damage with the, um... With the hook claws. But no! Even this, even this blade struggles. Okay, so I've just got a bunch of lilies. Bunch of lilies. How many golden seeds do we have, by the way? Just the one. Oh shit! I've got um, I've got a flask. I'll do that when we when we get to the next. Uh... Oh shit! I'll do that when we get to the next point of grace. Otherwise, I'll just make those wolves come back. Oh, we got sorcerers here too. Right. Hi guys. <laughs> that instant fucking. That instant stance break. Ooh, Lazuli, uh... Ah! Glinstone sword. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that ruined my whole flow, bud. That was like the, the worst that that could have gone. I missed and got hit. Such a cool move, dude. Okay, I get it. You're a bit strong. Yeah. Oh! You really had your swords back you up there, didn't you, bud? Imagine if those swords killed me right at the end. That would have come in clutch for him. Troll Knight sword? Okay, we just got two new weapons in one encounter. Far out. Uh, so we got the Glinstone Sword. A sword with a Glinstone in its handguards wielded by scholars of the Lazuli Conspectus who seek to master carrion sorcery deals magic damage. Apparently used once, uh, once used as a staff of sorcery, this sword is made of wood. Oh, it's made of wood! Oh, wow. A wooden sword with a Glinstone handle. Uh, glinstone Pebble, so it employs Glinstone Sorcery of the same name. Follow up with a strong attack to chain the skill into a lunging thrust. And then, Troll Knight Sword. Great sword embedded with a blue Glintstone. Weapons of the trolls in service to the royal family of Carrier. Called into service when the queen invoked an, er an oath they swore, and the trolls are treated as true knights of Carrier and fight arm in arm with their human comrades. Trolls roar. Look into the distance and let out an intense roar, generating a powerful shockwave that blows back surrounding foes. Follow up with a strong attack to slam the armament down. That's pretty sick. Um, <clears throat> something that I forgot to check about those weapons, actually, is that's a 13 intelligence, 18 intelligence. We won't be wielding these bad boys anytime soon. Good to know, though. I'm certainly uh, curious at some point about respecking into... Um, a character that does utilize the spells a bit more. Oh, I didn't even see you there. I'm curious to um, to do a bit more of that if I want to do maybe uh, dexterity and, and intelligence. Maybe do a bit of bit of spell casting. Yeah, because I also need to buy sorceries from. A bunch of people 
Um, and that'll probably, you know, progress their storylines and whatnot. And that's probably a good idea for me to do. But that is also why New Game Plus is a thing, so you get the freedom of choice there. We've got a stake of America, so we'll see what difficult thing lies ahead. <clears throat> uh, I saw this from a distance. Oh no, there are small... No, is that the big pot? That is the big pot. I saw... I think I saw this when we were over there. We saw this little... Okay, we've got to wade down. Just going to make sure before we drop down that there's nothing around here first. So hold on. Hold on a minute. Oh, this is a boss arena for sure. This is a boss arena for sure. Look at that uh, fog over there. Okay. Fuck it, let's go. Hey, uh, Royal Knight Loretta. Oh, holy fuck. Fucking tree sentinel. Holy fuck. Okay. Magical tree sentinel. Fuck. Just got a little bit greedy there. Okay. That was a cool dodge, but still not what I wanted. Whoa! I'm out of stamina. Hold on. Let's take time out. Oh, the charge up time for my skill is kind of getting me there. Which is a sham. Ooh, and Angie tried to kick me in the ass. Ah. An additional one, of course. Fuck. I actually think this sword is going to get me killed. Whoa, okay. What are you doing? What's that? Oh, okay. That's nothing. Oh, no, that's a power-up. Oh, that's a fucking arrow. Okay. I need to just do jump attacks. Otherwise, there we go. Otherwise, this sword's going to get me killed. Ah! <laughs> okay, bud. What are you doing? Let's see. Oh, no. You fuck. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> well, I went in underprepared, so that's fine. I should have just done more. There's our stake of America. I wonder what tough thing is going to lie ahead. I don't know, man. Let's go find out. Royal Knight Loretta. Now, hold on a minute, though. What's the name of our ashes here? Loretta and Latena, the Albanoric. Okay, for a second I was like, hmm. Similar names. Oh, yeah. I was literally just talking about doing a rune arc. That's what I forget. That's what I forgot. Let's do one of these bad boys. Nice, look at that. Rune arc activated. Alright. This is our first time uh, activating a great rune, dude. Just trade and attacks, left, right, and center. That's the whole, whole purpose. Damn it, I got so close to being able to do my follow up attack, and I would have been able to dodge that. I don't know what that does. Oh, I know what this does. Oh, that was almost a kill! That would have almost been a cool finishing move too, damn it. <laughs> oh shit, we got the spell. Loretta's Great Bone, Ash of War, Loretta's Slash. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, let's take a look. Nice, alright. So it's a sorcery. Fires magic from a magic great bow. I'm about to sneeze. I feel it coming. Just bear with me a second. Creates a magic great bow. 
and fires a great arrow. Charging enhances, enhances potency. Hold to keep the great arrow knocked. It is said that the bow was Loretta's favored weapon. Loretta and um, Lenetta, and they both use a bow. Interesting. But one's an Albanoric. Uh, and then we got an Ash of War. The Ash of War grants an armament the magic affinity and the following skill, Loretta's Slash. Leap forward, Im imbuing this blade with glintstone, then descend, accelerating into a sweeping slash. Pole arms and twin blades. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. That's so cool. Okay, what area are we in? Okay, so that's there. The Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. That's awesome. Where's the moon at? Currently not gazable. That's okay. Um, lovely. This weapon is so nice. I'm just trying not to like... I know that it's like powerful as fuck. So that's why I'm like... I've been holding off and using a weaker, more favorable weapon that I enjoy, but I know that, like, probably a lot of you are like, oh, you're still using the same weapon because he's comfortable, and that sucks. So, I'm giving you some variety. But then I'm going to get a new wave of oh, man, don't use that weapon, it's too strong. <laughs> I can never win. Just remember, guys, if you use a strong weapon, it's cheating. Alright, let's go through here. I want to get a second one and see if you can, like, dual wield with them. That would be a lot of fun. What other weapons have we got two of? We've got two Weathered Straight Swords. Two Lord Sworn Straight Swords. Are these dual wieldable? These guys? If they've got different uh, Ashes of War, I assume that's still okay. Yeah, nice. They've got a two-hand thing. Cool. If we can ever get an, a second one of those bloodhound things, that would be cool. Three sisters. Oh shit, we got another converted tower. Oh, we are outside of the manor grounds. We're up here. Oh wow, I didn't even think about that, did I? I guess these are our three towers. Fuck, okay, so we're outside of the... Oh, it's a mosquito, fuck. <laughs> it's a mosquito! I have to deal with these problems in real life. Oh my god. It's a Dark Souls boss in real life. A mosquito. Uh, can I use torrent? Alright, we're out. I can use torrent. Let's just run up the center to this first. One. And we'll drop down on those platforms. I haven't forgotten about that pot. If it's an enemy, I'll be incredibly disappointed for me falling down. Is that a fucking dragon? Okay, Renner's Rise. Locked shut for now. Okay. That's a fucking dragon over there. Okay, so we've got Renner's Rise. Whoa, what is all this then? What is all this then? Magic beams in the sky. Y'all seeing this shit? Okay. Where is that? That's out this way. Okay. Fatty through those trees. Okay, so the other two towers over that side, so I'm just checking out the cliff edges here. Because apparently, it looks like I'm gonna have to go through a dragon. That's fun. Where is this? I don't think we're able to go in there. Ah, oh, that'll eventually... okay. Right, because that's presumably Volcano Manor. Cover a bit of ground here. We got walls. We got walls. Okay. 
Let me just take these off. Let me put back my... Thing. Okay, there's some pretty standard enemies right now. Pretty standard. Got some gold poop. Where are we? How weird. Okay, we've got a point of grace right here. Okay. I think we'll... I don't think we'll push through here yet. I am tempted. Uh, we're behind the manor. Um, I don't want to push too far ahead because we still have to do the manor itself and this way. So I'm just going to do that grace point and we're going to head back. We will head back. Got all that lovely sewerage coming out the coming out the windows. I wouldn't I wouldn't call windows. That's probably not true. I just want to see if there's a way, if there's something going on around here. Ooh, no, but we do get a good view. Okay. I see. Let's head back in. It seems, at least, that those terrible hand enemies are relegated to the to the to the grounds, the main the main entrance. So that's nice, because I hate them. <laughs> I never want to see them again. Let's go around this corner and see if this is actually a dragon. Uh, uh, is poking around over here. So we're at the three sisters. That's our entrance. Now, we got some ruins. Ooh, we got one of these bad boys. I gotcha. Chilling mist, Ash of War. Nice. Chilling mist. Coats armament in frost and then slash, spreading frigid mist forwards. The armament retains its frost for a while. Nice. Are we in some ruins right now? We kind of are. Yeah, that's a fucking okay. I don't think I don't think you can stealth a dragon necessarily. I mean, you kind of can, but at the same time. This will give us our third dragon heart, though, so that's cool. Is it possible to backstab a dragon, dude? What type of dragon is this, though, I wonder? We went up against the Glinstone one last, outside Ray of the Caria. This one looks like it might have purple on the top. But it's blocking the pathway to a tower. Guys, quick, I'll hide in this bush. Alright, we're about to get seen. Yep. Oh, it's another Glen. Okay, Glenstone Dragon, a jeweler. Oops. Me trying to be like, let's fight this dragon without my horse for a second. That'll be a great idea. We'll just stealth it. What are you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you facing the other way? Okay, you you baited me. It was a trap. Cut off the tail, Dark Souls One type beat. Let's go. Why are you attacking? Oh, there's an enemy there. Dragon was attacking an enemy. Okay. You look like you'd be blind. Straight, dragon straight up almost looks blind. Oh my god, I keep missing it! It's head! <laughs> I 
keep missing its head, dude. Ah, oh, don't do it. No. Oh wait. I took barely any damage from that. That's fine. Ah, the camera. Cameras and dragons. It fucking bailed? What? It left? It retreated. What the fuck? He just said, all right, I'm out. What the fuck? Face me, coward. Taste the steel of my blade. Okay, never mind. He's gone. That was a wolf. Okay. You guys just... Okay. So, Renner's Rise, Ranny's Rise. And there's gonna be another Rise. This one's open, though. Ooh. Ooh! This one's open. Do you guys feel like we should do the mana primarily first before we start going out here? I don't even know. Oh, there's a grace point in each tower. Okay. Assumedly, there's a grace point in each tower. If there's a grace point here, makes sense to be a grace point anywhere else. Okay, Rani's Rise. So, are each of the, th I guess, the three sisters, each of the three towers, are going to have something cool going on? Let's see. We're going to lift. Okay. We're going up. We're going, we're, we're going up. Okay. So, same layout as like a converted tower. <gasps> oh, fuck, dude. She's here. Far out. Okay. That would make sense. That should be right here. It is kind of her place. All right. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. Yeah. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, <laughs> but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Literally, the straight up thing is just like confronting her, being like, you must be Rani the Witch, behind the Knight of the Black Knives. So, I misinterpreted, um, or, like, misheard, uh, when Rogier spoke about it, uh, that Malaketh uh, was not the one who committed the act to kill, and this is another thing that I messed up, because of goddamn names, is, uh, Godwin, uh, the Golden, was killed, because they stole Malaketh's rune, stole Malaketh's, I'm trying to remember this information, so, you know, they stole Malaketh's thing, they did the Knight of the Black Knives, they were able to kill an Elden Lord, the very first one, no hang on Godfrey not Godwin wait, oh, now I've forgotten <laughs> it's one of them one of them guys they're, they're all the same alright, let's accuse her you must be Rani the Witch behind the Knight of the Black Knives I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death and used it to forge the god-slaying Black Knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. Wait, what? You wanna... Uh, oh, okay. You wanna, you wanna tell me where the body went, Ronnie? And why should I reveal that to thee? Because you love me. I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. Not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say now. 
be gone. Ooh, she's not happy about that. I love how she popped in and she's like, here's your spirit bell. Here's your spirit ashes. Go off and have fun. Uh, we'll probably never see each other again. Goodbye. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say now. Be gone. Arr, okay, well... Killer. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll take that information back to Rogier and see what he has to say about that. Huh. Oh fuck, that was such a... <laughs> For some reason, I literally looked at that, like, part of the tower and went, I can make that. <laughs> I literally, like, without a shadow of a doubt, went, I can make that. And then you do that jump, and then you go, you know what? I don't think I can make that, guys. I think that was a mistake. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. I can jump down there. Alright, let me go get my runes back. Because I'm a silly little guy. Who got sad that Ronnie wouldn't tell me the information that I wanted, so I threw myself off the tower. Okay. Let me just get my stuff back real quick. I don't know, from this angle, you go, yeah, I can make that jump, and then it just, yeah, it's a bigger gap than you think, especially without a sprint, guys. Alright, just, like, think before you jump. Okay, I can make that fall. We send this thing back down, and then I'm gonna send it up again, and then we like fall down the thing. Up you go. Nice. Aha! Shortcut to the entrance. Let's go. Alright, the dragon isn't here. Okay, so that's... Okay, so Ronnie will stay here. Well, at least right now. Uh, does that mean... We've got this other tower as well. And then I guess we have to think about what she was saying. The curse mark is not... Here. Ooh, we might be... What is this painting again? Remember that I still need to find this place. The resurrection painting. And you can see Ray Lucaria and the Erd tree in the distance. I still think it's up there. I'm not sure. Uh, this tower is also sealed, so... Two of the towers are sealed. Only Rani's is active, alive and well. Saluvus's Saluvus's rise. Okay. It's not the name that I was expecting to read. Because it's like Rena, Rani. And then it goes Revan. Okay. Oh hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going on in. Hit things until it why can I why can I go in here? Why would you why would you give me false hope? Okay. Interesting. Block shut for now. Just for now. Okay, well I'm going to head back. I would have thought these ruins might have marked themselves on the map as well, but maybe I just didn't run through them f to do so. Because they look like there'd be ruins on a map, so do these. But I guess they're just part of the um, part of the environment. It's like a similar environment where, you know, Elden Ring does uh, a lot of repeated visual stuff for you to be like, this is, these are ruins, and these are catacombs, and uh, so on and so forth. 
Uh, so when you walk through an area like this, you expect it almost to be a location on the map for like actual uh, an actual thing. I hear another scarab. However, you're just a blue boy. I don't need you. Is this a permanent drop? I reckon I can get back up from here. I'm trying to really weigh up why I would want to drop down here. That's just going to take me back to the mana lower level. Oh, and I can't use torrent. Okay, where does this... no. Oh, there's a pathway here, okay. There is a pathway to take. Okay. Well, we're here now, I guess. I put a ladder. Well, maybe this is a spot <clears throat> you can only get to once you've already gone through the Three Sisters area. Just trying to put this in perspective from where we've already been, because I think we've already... Yeah, we've, we've been underneath where I am currently. Old Fang. Let's go down. Because I have not seen a ladder before in this area. So, Ah, oh, this is the upper area. Okay. Oh, the book gave me a jump scare. Jesus Christ. Uh, Spellproof dried liver. Oh! Hello! We got an NPC. Whoa, what the fuck? What is going on here, my boy? My boy, what are you doing? Sorry, Your Worship. Is that an Albanoric? I apologize for any offense given. I am Pidia. Pidia. Servant to the Carrion royal family. I am charged with maintaining these ghastly dolls. Uh, servant of uh, Carrion royalty. Okay, so Pidia. New character unlocked. Let's go. Ah, your worship, allow me to be of use. Other than the puppets, there are some very fine things up here in this storeroom. Why not pick something out before you go? But please, can you offer poor ill starred Pitya? A little something by way of compensation. I like the voice. Budding horn. We only have one of those. Slumbering egg. More ritual pots. Another celestial dew. Black leather shield. From the north, this shield depicts the polar star in rivets of gold. The inside is lined with fur, protecting the carrier from frost. Ripple Blade, unique weapon wielded by young Albanurix. This sword is modeled after the ripples that are thought to be the origin of their species. Its attack power is greatly enhanced with one's arcane attribute and wild strikes. Okay. Carrion Retaliation. Swing the shield to dispel incoming sorceries and incantations, transforming the magic into retaliatory glint blades. So it's a reflect shield with your own spell. Can also be used in the same way as a regular parry. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we can make cold bone arrows, another larval tier, and a weathered map left discarded and forgotten for some time. Further details are only available to paying customers. Give me that. Hand it over. Hand it over. Hand over your good son. I'm ta I'm taking it all. Um, twenty arcane. Probably not going to wield that, but it's kind of cool looking, isn't it? It's an axe, apparently. It looks cool. We'll leave it for now. I'm gonna take your eggs as well, because there's not. We don't have many of these things. I'm gonna take them. I'm taking them off your hands, boy. 
May as well. How's that? Ah, a fine day to your worship. Me. Please. Okay, so there is an Albanuric servant here. That does still make me think about Latena and that that knight, uh, that horse boss that we, f that we found. So you're responsible for these bad boys. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I can't attack. Right. Interesting. This NPC is uh, is protected. I cannot. I cannot kill. Why? Would you put an NPC here, guys? Come on, developers. And not put a ladder for me to kick down to, cr to climb back up. This feels like a mistake. You're going to put an NPC merchant here. I'll probably never come back to them, but still. No ladder? Okay. That's fine. Well, now I'm back down here. But that's okay. Because... I can just teleport. Um, interesting. So we found Padilla, the carrion servant, by dropping down there. That's cool. Let's go back to the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds and we'll go back uh, down those platforms to get to this pot, gentlemen. Um, and then I don't think we've explored here. I don't think we've done this area. Outside of that, um, not a massive location, which is cool. Which gives us an excuse to go back through some previous areas now that we've spoken with Rani and we'll chat with Rogier and see what he has to say about the curse mark and where's the body located that houses the curse mark. Very interesting character that one. The Lunar Princess. Alright, so we're going through here. Oh, no, there are small pots. Damn it. It's probably going to be an enemy then. Damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, that's an enemy. Why are we dropping down here? <laughs> Why are we dropping down here? Just to get killed? It's probably going to be an item or something. And it'll be one item that gets you attacked by a bunch of pots. Alright, let's try that again. Unnecessary death. So I've lost my great rune activation. But that was cool. So yeah, it literally just works like a like humanity or an ember or anything like that. There you go, guys. Don't underestimate the sprint jump. It's almost as if that's what you're meant to do. All right, pop boy. Can't lock onto you from here, so I'm still not sure if you're an actual enemy or not. Can't lock on. Ooh, actually. Are you, are you or aren't you an enemy? You are an enemy. Get staggered! Okay, never mind. Hi -ya. Living jail shard. Well, I hope our, our two jar NPC friends don't hate us for the amount of pop murder that we've committed. There's so many. That was, a, that was cool. I feel so bad, they literally explode. More crystal darts. Okay. Don't tell me I came down here for crystal darts. I'm just exploding some jars and a mushroom. It's just gonna, okay. There is a... Ah. Oh, and another crack spot. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. Even though I don't even really use them. hey Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought that would have worked. It did not. Alright, let's keep heading down. Heading down the cliffside. To just... Point to no return. Okay, so you can't... Okay. You can't lock onto them until they wake up, so that's why I couldn't do the jump attack. Alright, I'm gonna leave... Oh, actually, the big ones are the ones that give us the loot, aren't they? Wake up! 
Alright, my jump attack staggers him. I hate that I was literally just about to get my hit off for that kill as well. <laughs> Die! I fucking love that move, dude. So sick. Alright, if we want living jar shards, we've got to murder him. It must be done. Smithing stone three. More of you small fellas. Um, am I dropping? I'm dropping down from here, it looks like. See you, pop boys. See you later. I see an item on the edge there. Oh, yeah. God, imagine if I fell and missed that. Oh, fuck yeah. Ash of War, Carrion Granger. Nice. Um, Ash of War. Nice. Royal Prestige, embodied in a skill. Transform blade into a magical greatsword and swing it down. Can be charged to increase its power by up to two levels. Use one swords. Man, I need to do that with something. I need to do that with something. Now, I think if I go to the mana upper level, maybe I can go and check out this area. And then I guess we can go here, and then we can look at this area. And then we can go to the round table hold or speak with Rogier. I'm wondering if we're just supposed to stumble across the fucking... the body ourselves, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh no, I have walked out and explored this area already. That's okay. That's where we got this golden seed. Okay. And then this is where we run through like crazy because we're getting killed by giant hands. I know that it, this isn't fully explored, but at the same time, acceptable. Uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to run out here again because I believe that there was... Let me see. Oh, what the fuck? I'm wondering if... So I felt like we can drop down over here, maybe. Is this a possible thing? I d uh, yeah, hang on. No! Oh! <laughs> no! No! He, he recovered from the. F oh, that's that's so fucked. Wait a minute! I'm getting attacked by Albanoric dudes. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Great. Well, I sure hope the merchant isn't going to be aggressive towards me now if I start killing these guys. Dude, that's so, that's so annoying. <laughs> Literally makes the jump. He stands up and just falls down. Alright, well, I wasn't wrong. There is a thing for us to do. We're not fucking going over there. That's that's Handland, and we, have, we don't like Handland. Handland is out of bounds, dude. We don't go to Handland anymore. Forbidden. I forbid it. I love those traps. They're actually so cool. Hiya! Okay. Hiya! So, it was the only purpose falling down here just to. Let's see. Um, nice. Well, I'm glad I didn't do this first and see these guys. Because then I might have fucking just murdered that dude when I dropped down there, like the first time that I saw him. It's good that it popped up to, to talk to him, which is good. I've still forgotten to use that um, sacred tear. <laughs> I've still forgotten to use it. Oh no. Oh no. That's where this takes us. 
I want a refund. Get me out of here. I'm going back to the upper level. And I'm going to use that sacred tear because I've literally just remembered once again to do it. Because I have the memory of a fucking goldfish. Uh, flasks. Sacred tear. Thank you. I need two more golden seeds, baby. Alright, let's try and not fall this time. Wait, I went to the wrong one. Lower level. And this time I'll make the jump. I think I can jump from a different ledge. And there's an item for us to get. And then, after I do this, I'm going to leave. Um, we're going to go to the round table hold. I'm going to check in with... Uh, on this uh, whole beast clergyman situation. And then I want to explore Ray Lucaria again. See what I can find. Whew. We made it, baby. Crystal bud. Hands. Put your hands up! Hands in the air! Catch these hands. What you got for me? What the fuck is that? A roomie? It's like a sword ring. What the fuck's going on here? What the hell? Oh, it's a sword whip. Hell yeah. Okay, just because it's silver, it threw me off. Uh, this weapon, made of extremely thin, flexible blades of metal. Yep, yeah, there you go. He's wielded like a whip by nightfolk warriors. Though in essence a whip with a cutting edge, it can also be used as a spear to pierce foes with the kick skill. What the fuck? Blade whip! Uh, how do I use it as a spear? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so the charged attack, it becomes a spear. What the fuck? Okay. Can I dual wield two whips or does it need to be the same whip? I don't know. Let's find out. You can dual whip? Holy shit! We're about to become a dual whipping samurai. Holy crap. Nuts, man. Oh, right. It was this thing. That's what I saw down here, which is why I knew that I could come back here. Alright, prepare to get whipped with my unleveled fucking ass weapon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> it's coming! <laughs> it's slowly but surely, slowly but surely coming. Okay, I'm going to change my weapons back now, so just wait a second. Aw, oh, you would. Okay, 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 not the spinning. Oh, okay. Cannot change equipment at this time. Spit me the fuck out! <laughs> ah! Don't grab me a second time! Okay. Kill me. Get me out of here. Fuck's sake, you died. Okay. Thank you. Well, it ate me. Fuck's sake. Okay. Don't try... I thought I could get away with switching my sword back to my main one. You cannot get away with that, so that's not going to happen. Uh, however, I'm going back to the round table hold to level up these boys, because one does strike and one does slash damage as well. That, that mixes it up a bit. That's sick. 
Okay, let me put my <laughs> let me put my weapon back on. Fox and hell. Alright, where am I? Where am I? Is it gonna be worth our time to run over here to kill this one Iron Maiden? Of course it is. Of course it is. And then we can leave. Oh, I leveled up my uh, leveled up my hammer for this as well, didn't I? I I did go to the effort to to level up a hammer. Um, to level up my battle hammer. Did it not equip? Fuck! I just literally got interrupted at the worst time. Come on, guys. All right. I'll change my weapon when it's a bit more convenient. Battle hammer. Oh no, unable to wield it effectively. Alright, before we go take on the Iron Maiden, we're just gonna go this way real quick. Cool, fuck yeah. Dead end. Useless. I guess maybe that takes us to the outside. Oh, actually, that takes us down here. Maybe not useless. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, I'm gonna see if this fucking hammer does more damage to the Iron Maiden. Hammer wielding samurai, baby! Let's go. Alright, you fuck. I'm ready. What, what does Braggot's roar do? Declare your presence with a boastful roar. Raises attack, defense, and stamina. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'll take it. And then I have a talisman that increases those roar attack. Roar attacks, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. All that for that. Oh, there's a pathway behind you. That's what I need to do. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm I'm fat rolling. I am for sure fat rolling. Alright, I'm just gonna fight you with this sword. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> the sword does way more anyway, dude. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't need the hammer. This thing! This fucking thing! This fucking thing! <laughs> the bleeding! Oh my god, dear lord. Oh, how dare you! God, they're so fucking cool. So cool. Why am I here? No, it just takes us all the way around. Okay. Shame. Yeah. Now we're back at the beginning. Okay. Well, I'm leaving. Oh, now that I've done the manor, hold on, and spoken to Rani, let's um, let's have a chat to EG real quick. Let's have a chat to EG real quick. Oh, we're not getting attacked anymore by the the magic either. How interesting. How interesting. I guess we did something in um, in there or we progressed further in enough for there to be no defenses. Interesting. Uh, before we speak to EG, I'm just seeing if there's anything around here. We got another rune arc, not rune, yeah, golden rune, I mean, graveyard. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Whoa! Oh, it's because I'm attacking with my shield. I was like, why the fuck am I doing no damage? Why the fuck was I attacking with my shield? I was like, these are some strong rats. <laughs> Oh, 
You fucking rat fuck. Didn't even give me any runox for the, for my efforts. These are some nicely leveled golden runes though. They've got a mixture of some good ones. to EG and then round table hold Grank the beast clergyman and then exploring Ray Lucaria combing through it for a third time just in case because I, I feel it feels incomplete to me it definitely feels incomplete to me Because I feel like we also need to we need to figure out how to get another key for that stupid Tops guy, stupid Mister Topes and his Glintstone key. Well, it's kind of you to speak to me again. Then I presume these old bones served their purpose, more or less. More or less. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare. Whatever you do, I've already. It's fine now. We're good. I did it. Ah, uh, it's whip strengthening time, dude, with all my smithing stones. Uh, let me strengthen. I actually want to focus on strengthening this guy first. Da -da -da. Yes. Damn it. Okay. I can get it up to like whip plus six, whip plus two. Then I need to get some more smithing stones. We're going to be a dual whipping boy, that's for sure. That's going to be funny. Um, let's go to the round table hold. Something that I forget to do or make a habit of is using the Sights of Grace and being able to just go through these places. I always just forget and I just I use the map as like you a normal map a lot of the time. Hello, pals. I almost forgot why why I'm here, Rogier. <laughs> I was like, "Why am I here again?" You there? Always good to see you safe, son. Rani cast off her cur curse mark. I see. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she, in her current form, is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. <laughs> Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, oh, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. Ooh. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Enter her service. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, you'll be able to take a poke around on the sly and determine the location of her original body that bears the curse mark. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the only one, in fact. So, is that the reason why, that's the reason why Rani has like that, like spirit, like next to her face is like that's actually her and she's kind of like possessing the the doll locate okay, original body with curse mark so we'll go back to her now and we'll be like yo want me to like join your service i pledge myself to you my queen can you become rani's vassal while in her and determine that i realize that i know you've got that's cool let's let's give it a go let's give it a go shall we Problem is, when I look at this, and I'm like, where do I want to travel to? See, now I don't know. Uh, Rani's Rise. So I'm not used to navigating this list now. Alright, we'll quickly go head back to her, because there's been a development. There has been a development. And the development is that... 
I'm gonna be like, yo, I know that we pure. I found out about you doing some stuff, and you won't tell me information. So, what if I hung out with you? What if I did what you wanted for a little while? Let's have a look. Ah. Oh. You know what I forgot? I forgot that we bought a map. And we literally never even looked at it, dude. Uh, the weathered map. A simple map. Badly weathered. My... Fucking hell. My brain today. Uh, wow, well, fuck. A simple badly weathered map. Left us kind of forgotten. Depicts streaks of amber light. Okay, well we saw the... Bl we saw blue light out with the three sisters. Oh, well shit. What is that on the map? Alright, what's a thing that looks like that on the map Shit. oh it could be a divine bridge thing maybe hmm damn it that map looks confusing as hell the curse mark thou see now I wish to serve you, my queen. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst rend me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Yes. Mm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. <laughs> What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. Of how she's like, I know what you're gonna do, but for sure. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half woven warrior by the name of Blythe. What? I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. They all so Eiji's a war counselor for for Rani. Blythe, and it's and it's talking about Nokron. So we've actually peeked into Nokron ever so slightly um, because we we made it to the four belfries, and there's one of the things that teleported us uh, to Nokron. Uh, like we were like up here. So essentially, Nokron, the Eternal City, is like here down down here. So we actually know where to go. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. Hmm. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Okay. Like, are they just all waiting for us at the bottom of the tower now? Or do I need to... It's just Rani. Where the fuck is Blythe? Okay. Uh, we'll try and find... We need to find Blythe. Um, maybe I just have to go back down to uh, Shifra River. Oh! In spirit form, we speak to them. Oh, that's... That's really weird. Okay. Hi. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith okay, and sir. Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. That's so cool. Okay. My apologies. 
for the misleading words of warning. <laughs> I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Interesting. Well, obviously, bud, you, you should have expected better of me. I'm already friends with Blythe. Let us give all together. Okay, so is Blythe here as a spirit somewhere as well? And then this other person whose name I've already forgotten? Yes! <laughs> My man! I told you to call me, but it turns out I called you. So cool. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you've forgotten, you're unforgettable. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. That's cool. That makes sense. He'd literally just be at the well that takes us down. I'm going below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I won't keep you waiting, huh? Hello. Alright, here's our other one. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selavis. Selavis. Preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, <laughs> I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. That's a great voice. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Dude, interesting. Okay, so we talked them all in spirit form, and then we know where all of them are. Um... Hey! I can't... Hey, I'm Fogward! I can't leave! I can't leave, I'm fogwalled! Mate, I can't leave. I reside. Come and pay me, should you. If it were up to me, but who? I'm trapped in here. I'm fogwalled! What the fuck? And I can't fast travel. I've already spoken to all of you. Guys, what the fuck? Do I have to go back up and speak with uh, Rani again? Guys, this is a cruel joke. What the hell's going on? Can I rest at the side of Grace and leave? Oh, now I can leave. What the fuck? That was weird. So strange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess they just were expecting you to rest at the... Ah, uh... oh, because it's... Okay, now they all disappear. Makes sense. That's why. They want to make sure that you don't just fuck off and leave. Alright, even the enemies weren't there for a time. It changed the whole location for a, for a second. Understandable. I wonder if that means if Renner's tower is now open because uh, Seluvis's is... Selavus, sorry. Selavus's tower is... Selavus, Blythe, and EG, man. Ah, yeah. Alright. There he is! Man, he looks cool. Another NPC with a mask. Well, well, you took me at my word. Yes. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? <laughs> you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Everyone's linked. Even you can do that much, can't you? Okay, um... 
I wonder if this will make her go back to the round table hold. Find the Feli, give potion. I'm wondering, because we've we've walked around the round table hold and I've checked out some areas in there and there's a lot of closed doors as well. So I'm wondering if stuff's going to open up. Give her a potion. Interesting. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. It's poison, ha ha! So, uh, Celibus's potion. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. Hmm. Hmm. Small flask received from Prece um, Preceptus Saluvus containing a cloudy tonic of bluish black. Find the felly and ensure she drinks it. Bluish black. Look at this. Look at this segment. Minus the lost ashes of war. It's very interesting. Never did figure out what this was. I've no time for idle chit chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I Dude. have enough on my plate. Dude, the design in his hat. How cool is that? The design in his hat. How cool is that? It's literally like a like a solar system. That's so cool. Alright, well, no time for idle chit chat. It ain't mean I'm not gonna go and poke about in your tower. You've got a ladder right here. Alright, I was not expecting development or an extension on this storyline so quickly. How naive of me. But that does mean that we can proceed with this. I still do intend to go do Beast Clergyman stuff. However. A memory stone, okay. Let me jump out the window. All right. Well, that's that. Um, All right. Let's go to the round table hold again. I want to, because I want to see if Rogier, first of all, has any new update for us, because we've done some stuff. And then I'm going to explore more of the round table hold and see if we can find um, Nephili. Always good to see you, son. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Oh. Something's gonna happen to Rogier, and it's going to affect us. Interesting. I'll speak to that beast clergyman soon, D, don't you worry. Alright, hold on, so... You're in here. Journey to the capital. The two thing you may be our best. You may be our best hope. Okay. And then down here is... Maidens with a shop. Uh, where I can buy things. Buy me smith and stones. Hmm. Doorway that doesn't open. See, I'm wondering if these doors will open. They're like sealed places in here. And then... Through here... We've got... You wanna do any spirit tuning? And now the blacksmith. Well... I took you for dead. Lay out your arms, then. I've met a, I've met another blacksmith. I'm sorry. I've met, I've met someone. Again, another closed door. They look like they should open. Uh, we've already gone down here, but who knows? Maybe there's an update here now. Ah, oh, fucking god damn it! I every time we went to the round table hold, dude. Every time we went to the fucking round table hold. Uh, and I checked out this area because it was tied to the imp statue. I would run through here and go, you know what? There's nothing in here. Every time I've come down here because it's like sealed off. But then how naive of me to think that there wouldn't be a, a change literally right outside of that statue. And this, here's another massive door. Okay. She was here the whole time. 
Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, you're thirsty down there. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Oh. Uh... Uh, hmm. Well, how do I... Um... Hmm. You thirsty? No. Okay. Uh, well, we know that she's here. I guess we'll come back to that later. Alright, we'll come back to that later. Uh, but we know where we... We know where we can find her. At least for now. It doesn't show any NPCs next to... That's like an, one thing that I guess is maybe. Because it's they've done NPC markers on the map. But the Table of Lost Grace does not have like the same thing. It doesn't tell you who's who's there. Like if Nefeli is there or not. For example. Um, and then I said that I would go and do Beast Clergyman. So I'm going to quickly do Beast Clergyman. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, and then we're going to do Beast Clergyman, just to meet him. I'm not going to dabble too much into this, because I want to stay focused, and I guess we're going to go with Blythe, and see what's going on there. Alright, time for us to time for us to move on. We will head over to our lovely Beast Clergyman. Now, it looks like a way to get to said Beast Clergyman... Uh, I'm assuming we might be able to find our way if we just go from the third church. I don't know. Those, those look like those gravestones that I should be able to ride down on Torrent. So we'll go to the third church. We'll go to the Sending Gate. We'll meet Garank, finally. Then we'll chat with D. And then... I'll decide whether I want to explore Ray Lucaria again. <laughs> before hanging out with Blythe and the search of the eternal city as well that's a big one that's a big one that's such an interesting little task that we're going to get into oh I'm already oh the third church, <laughs> I, this literally looks like it would be lower down, like on the floor, and we were like higher up. Okay. Ah. I see. We're like right in front of it. Okay. This is our sending gate. Travel to another location. Alright, where are we about to end up? The beast clergyman. Rayol's Dragon Barrow. Oh shit. Okay, that's pushed us even further to the east. Okay. Interesting. Just gonna not piss off the guard dog? Okay. Let's just sneak past the guard dog, shall we? The bestial sanctum. Okay. I see he likes to decorate. Interesting. Okay. Well, at least it doesn't look like I'm going to get distracted because it's just a location of its own that's good and I can leave I put this off for so long unnecessarily then oh okay two actions I can just hand him a death root straight away oh okay I guess we're handing over the death root choose how many to hand over just give him one. I smell it. Death. Feed it me. Okay. Turn 
vanished. Bring more deaths. I shall grant thee eye and claw. Feed me more. Claw marks you. Okay. Garank eats death root. All right, he's given us a claw mark seal and a beast eye. If we give him more death root, we'll get some more stuff. Um, said to tremble when close to death root. Claw marked stone eye received from Garank beast clergyman. Is said to tremble when near death root. The murky violet iris writhes as if alive. I am not sated. Feed me more death. Oh, I thought what we got was a talisman. Fuck, what was the other thing that we got? <laughs> Shit, what was the other thing that we got? For... Alright, bear with me a moment. We got something. <laughs> I need to figure out what it is. You can't change order of acquisition on talismans. That's weird. Ah, oh, there's a claw mark. Okay, so because it was said claw mark seal. Um, I was like, oh, that'll be a talisman. There we go. Sacred seal granted by Grank. A rare trinket which allows incantations to be scaled with strength. Strength scaling on incantations. The claw mark represents Grank's wrath. Enhances bestial incantations learned from Grank. Uh, good old beast clergyman, huh? So, this would be great for like a strength and incantation. It's like strength and faith thing. And then you can do dex and intelligence for like another thing. I think would be cool. All right, so if we give him, uh, we'll just do one at a time. He's hungry, boy. We don't want to overfeed him straight away. We'll give him one at a time. I'm not sated. Feed me more death. Yeah, all right, he gives us something each time. He gives us something each time. Uh, beastie incantation. Swiftly flings numerous sharp rock shards. It is said that in the time before the Erd Tree, stones were the first weapons of the beasts who had gained intelligence. This incantation can be cast without delay after performing another action. That's cool. Feed me. Okay, bestial vitality. Okay, so you get a new incantation every time. Having gained intelligence, the beasts must have felt how their wildness slipped away as civilization took hold. Fills the body with uh, bestial vigor, restoring HP over a period of time. So each time you give him a death root, he give you a uh, incantation. Strange. There's something else. But the death yet quenches. Bring more. Oh, sorry, bud. An Ash of War. Okay. Sorry, buddy. I don't actually have any more for you right now. I have to go and find that for you. So there's an Ash of War as well. Beast's Roar. Unleash a beastly roar, rendering the air as a forward traveling projectile. I swear we have a roar already, right? Don't we? I think I had it on like a weapon or something. All right. Um, I shall grant thee eye and claw, feed me. Grant thee eye and claw, feed me more. Okay. Well, we'll go and get some more death root then. You're just going to kill more boys in boats, and then we'll be fine. Okay. Well, that's that done. I mean, it's not like we needed to... We'll go chat with... Um, I don't even need to be resting here. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Uh... What the fuck? Why is he fucking raging? 
Why is he fucking aggressive now? What the fuck? Why is he aggro? Why the fuck is he aggro now? What the fuck? I don't want to kill him. Hold on. Surely not. Do I already have to fucking go somewhere and request absolution? What did I do? I just rested and I didn't even need to rest. That was a mistake. Because I could have just fast traveled. What the fuck? What's the go there? Come on, let me open let me open my map, dude. I'm so not in combat right now. What the fuck? Is it a scripted fight? Do I have to fight him? What if I just leave? What if I refuse? I don't I think I've made a mistake, maybe. I didn't think feeding him death root was gonna turn him insane. He needs more. Oh, maybe that's why he said it was strange that, like, death hadn't, it hadn't been quenched yet. So he's gonna, what, like, fucking try and murder us as well? I don't want to be here yet. Oh, no, there's small people here as well. No. Dude was just chilling. Dude was just straight chilling. We just come in here and just killed him on our way through. Oh, no, dude. I don't want to be in Caleb right now. Is he great? Beast clergyman. All right, we can open the map. Has he settled down? Because he's still showing as an NPC. What the fuck? I might have to go seek uh, absolution. <laughs> I see it for jumping in the air, you fuck. I can't believe this uh, this enemy here never even turned around the whole time as well. I was super chill about it. Okay, let me, let's just quickly stealth around this corner. And have a chat with D. What the fuck? Because I don't want to fuck anything up right now. Yeah, what the fuck? He's, he's aggro. What the hell? Alright, we're going to leave. I'm not going to do anything with that yet, because I might need a C-cap solution or something. We'll chat with D first. I don't want to accidentally murder him. You've met Garank. I take it. He tried to kill me. And owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. Ah, oh, we can study incantations and now get all the information about Rogier. This would have this is probably the only reason why we should have done uh, Beast Clergyman ages ago is because of this. Litany of Proper Death. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, used by hunters of those who live in death, creates an image of order dealing holy damage to nearby foes. This incantation... Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna hiccup. This incantation is especially damaging to those who live in death. Any failed by this incantation cannot be revived. The role of the hunters is to stamp out defiled reason, all for the perfection of the Golden Order. Order's Blade. Enhance armament held in the right hand with holy affinity attacks. This incantation is especially damaging to those who live in death. Uh, the role of the hunters is to stamp out defiled reason. Okay, so he just sells two. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? Maybe. You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years. Stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is solid, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated. Down to the very last. 
Okay. Did you need something else? See if maybe Rochier has anything to say. On. Man is about to die. Oh shit. See if Rogier has anything to say about that. Literally dying. Okay. Fucking while we're here, I may as well quickly see if uh, I can do anything with Nephili before we move on. Ah, oh, you please. It's pathetic, I know, but. What the fuck? Fucking. <laughs> Why? Okay. Maybe we'll have to find her out in the field. Again, I don't know. Um. Okay, so he just says, oh, you've found Grank, have you? Cool. All right, we're going to travel to the Bestial Sanctum and see if he's aggressive still. Yeah, he's still fucking aggro. Okay, he's still aggro. Um, what the fuck? Okay, so still aggro, which means I am going to go to the Church of Vows and uh, see if we need to be cured. If we can seek absolution. If it allows us to do so, then... Because there's obviously got to be more death root in the world, right? It's not going to be just four. Especially with how big this place is. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, I seek absolution, apparently. Shit, you don't need absolution. Okay. Fucking hell, alright. We're fighting him then. This is so weird. Okay, maybe it's, maybe this is just a scripted fight and he won't die. And then he'll settle down. I'm just... Ah! Mate! Settle! Consume. Okay. Okay, he's a bit strong. He's a bit strong. He's gone death root crazed. We've accidentally got him hooked on death root, and now he wants to just murder me. And I just die immediately. I need to quickly get these back. Okay, bud. Oh, and that's that's that incantation. Alright, you're really fucking quick and you're really fucking strong. What the fuck? Um, I'm gonna take off this guy real quick, because I'm just taking a bunch more damage. Uh... Hey! Sake. Me in here, please. Oh God! I fucking <laughs> let me in here, please. All right. I tried to take off the thing that I that was giving me more damage, but I'm still gonna take a shitload of damage apparently. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh god. Oh my fucking god. Why is this a thing right now, dude? Why does he have so much health? What the fuck? Dude. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What is happening right now? I'm gonna summon I'm gonna try and summon an ash 
uh, a spirit and see what happens. Jellyfish! Go! I accidentally drank a flask. Poor jellyfish, dude. He's like rock solid. Um, this man, this this clergyman, is an absolute asshole. What the fuck? Man? <laughs> Get him! Get him, ancestral follower! Oh, he's just gonna die immediately. Um, hmm. Hmm. Get him, jellyfish. Oh, I forget that that's that. That's a that's a whole the whole ass move, All right? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay, maybe, maybe he's weak to holy damage. That's that's an idea. I love that he's permanently like raged, so he's now he's just like apparently he's there, but he's not attacking me right now, and I can't travel from here. I can travel when I sit down, right? Um, duh. Um, I can't cast incantations, so I can't... I can't cast incantations. Because I don't have much faith. Um, do I have, like, any... Because we've got, like, grease and... So is there anything that I have that does, like, holy... Damage? What is... what does... I feel like I have something that can do holy. But I forgot what it is. Ah, uh, I made like holy pots, didn't I? I made some pots. Temporarily boosts holy attacks in the flask. Hmm. I... don't know. I don't have a weapon that can do any, like, holy damage, does it? Just like, I just have blood loss weapons, don't I? Frost builder. Blood loss, frost. Madness build up with a spear. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna leave this alone. I think I'm just gonna leave this one alone. Because dude's literally raging. I'm gonna see if D, maybe now revisiting, has anything to say about this. Ah, oh, hello. Okay. You've been busy weeding death root, I take it. I thank you, as your brother in arms. So what can I do for you? Fucking bruh. Um, just a bit of a problem, that's all. Maybe if I rest here, and then I stop. <sighs> no, okay. Well, fuck. I guess I just need to wait until I'm strong enough to deal with that. Um, I'm gonna go back through Ray Lucaria. I'm gonna see what I can find. Um, I'm gonna see what I can find. Because I feel like there's, I feel like there's more, and I'm gonna do that. Um, because I feel like if, if I decide to go and adventure with Blythe right now to find Nokron, I'll never, I'll, I'll never <laughs> get to where I need to go. 
At the same time, I also need to still figure out this study hall as well. It's another thing. All right. I'm going to go on a bit of an explore and see what we can find. Baby, Carolus Glinstone Crown. I found another crab. Um, so that's our second one. Nice. Increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. The Carolus Conspectus is the oldest of the Academy's lineages of study, begat by the sorcerer Azure, scholars who follow in his footsteps, pursue the mysteries of comets. So we've got the Twin Sage Conspectus, there's the Carolus Conspectus in our little helmets. That's sick. Okay. Nice. Academy Glinstone key. Fuck yeah. Um, that's what I want. That's what I wanted. That's what I was talking about. Alright, there we go. Got a Glinstone key. A second one. This Glinstone key is still brand new, unused by anyone. Ah, okay. It's specific specifically mentioned that. Oh god. Victory! The price of victory! Oh my god, I'm not going back for my runes. <laughs> victory backing off of the chandelier and dying. That's good. Okay. Uh, fuck, I missed that the first time then. That's such a... that's so dumb. Uh, I can go to this church though. Alright, we got our glinstone key. That's great. <laughs> oh man. We don't need those runes, it's fine. It's not worth going back through there. There was a couple of rooftops that I was trying to figure out how to get to, and there was another item, but it looks like just like a standard item. This was a key item. This is an important one. And this is kind of like the primary thing that we were even that we were after in the first place. I like that. So we got a helmet, we got a headpiece, and we got our um our key for this guy. Let's give it to him. Back to learn another, why of course. Give the key! Are you certain? You're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy. To resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> Erudition. Erudition. Erudition! Holy shit. It's a gesture. It's a gesture. Holy shit. Okay, nice. Back to learn another. Why, of course. About the Glenstone key. I love how he's like, your key. So he doesn't even. I wonder if he knows that it needs to be a new owner. Thank you dearly. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Oh, Perhaps okay. one day, you'll pay me a visit? Now I have to find him. I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I guess we'll get some more sorceries from him, because he'll be like, I look at what I've learned! Okay. So we need to go back and find him in Thank there. You With your blessing, Perhaps With your blessing, I'll head to Rhea Lucaria. What does he sell? Oh, he sells the starlight. Oh, this was the other. This was the other spell. This one here. Now we can't even. I might be able to wield it if I wear stuff that in increase intelligence. But this is another one that I was talking about. Um, in terms of because in these converted towers, that was a big one. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> in these towers, the converted towers. It says, may erudition guide your way or light your way or something like that. And I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe we need to have the starlight spell. But then it turns out that we have an erudition gesture. But 
What if it's both? I'm gonna quickly just buy this um, because there will be ways for us to get intelligence. How much was that? 2,000 something. Let me just pop another two of these bad boys. Um, I'll buy it from him just in case because Thank with you, perhaps who knows. <laughs> didn't mean to pick that. Uh, I'll pick Starlight. Um, now we can wield. There's a, one of these helmets increases our intelligence, right? Yes, cool. So this one actually takes us straight to 15 intelligence, the Twin Sage Crown. So we can cast Starlight if we need. Now, I'm pretty sure this converted tower, we've already, we were able to like climb up to the top, but I think it might still have a thing. And then there's the other one. Oh, this one, this one's different. This one doesn't have a sealed door. And it says, Air Edition, guide thee. Okay. I'm going to do the gesture. Instead of rapture, we can do... Nope, wrong one. Uh, instead of rapture, we can do air edition. Because they're so close. Alright. I'm just going to do the gesture here. See what happens. Air edition. Oh, it does like... Oh, okay. It does like an animation. Oh, I made a ladder! Fuck! Okay. So we didn't need the starlight. Okay. We didn't need the starlight spell. But it's the, it is the air edition gesture. Nice. So we already got up here. We already got up here by running along the, the wall. So we've done this one, but we, now we can go to the other converted tower and do that. All right. Sick. All right. Now we can get that one opened up. Let me just do that real quick. I can take off this marker. Ah, oh, I've got to go... Oh no, that's okay. Not too far away. I almost went to the Black Knife Catacombs down the bottom. Cool, now we can see what's behind... Now we can see what's behind this doorway. Interesting that it was tied to that. And I was trying to find my way inside like a, <laughs> a window this, this way as well, but... To no luck. So we've bought a sorcery for no reason, but that's okay. Because I was like, maybe you need to like cast the starlight and then you like use air addition on it. And then it, uh, something might happen. Yeah, so this one, because it says make air addition light the way. So that's why I was like, maybe you need starlight for this one. So it, it is a different speed, it is a different message every time. So guide the. And then this one is light the way. Uh, you know what? It fucking just might be then. There you go. It might be. So air edition did not work immediately. Uh, I need. I'll just equip. A catalyst, because I'm not in battle right now, so I don't need to worry about it being a sword or not. Oh shit, hang on. I can't wield any of these. Fuck, hold on. I can wield one of these, right? Um. Okay. The glinstone sword can use it, and then I need to... Oh, hang on, I need to attune magic. <laughs> this is my first time with magic in Elden Ring that I forgot that I need to do it with like Dark Souls, don't I? I need to memorize magic at a grace point. And yes, I could just fast travel, but it's only, it's like right here. So it's fine. Okay. So I've got enough intelligence to cast it just, which is good. Memorize spell. Okay, we've got a f we've got a few. We've got five memory slots. Like that's not bad. Um, starlight. Can we cast anything else? We can cast a shatter earth. 
So we can cast Magic Downpour. Well, not good enough for anything else. 26, 23, 38, 17, 16, 18. Alright, we're well, not good enough for those. That's okay. I've got three spells that I can cast. Do I have to two-hand it? How do I... Oh no, wait. Shit. Is this not what I think it is? Oh no, hang on. Fuck, what's... Didn't I pick up a weapon that could be used as a... Oh no, did I misunderstand? I think I have misunderstood. Shit. Oh no. Oh hang on, there we go. No, these knight swords can serve as catalysts? This one. Ah, oh, but I need 18 intelligence for this one. Shit. Oh no, I don't think I can cast spells. I'm gonna have to level up intelligence. By a few more points. So I can cast Starlight. Unless there's like a super basic... I can't even... Cause this one needs 24, this needs 22. And this one needs 52, so whatever... Is there like a basic? There's gotta be... There's gotta be a basic one that I can buy from someone. Someone's gotta sell me a, a little basic staff for kids, you know? Beginner's staff. Because I'm only rocking with what I own. Fuck, for some reason... Maybe if I hit 18 intelligence this blade can cast sorceries. Um... Nope. What does the finger seal do? That's for casting incantations. Okay. That's for incantations. Why the fuck are you selling a incantation one? And not a sorcery one. Is Hugh selling one? I'm gonna have to go. For, I'm gonna have to go shopping. I'm gonna have to go shopping. Well, I took you. No man, I took you for dead. Looks like I can just sell you shit. While we're here, just real quick, I'll speak to Fia, see if there's anything about Rogier. No. Let's see if there's anything about Rogier. To follow up with, because I just remembered that Fia is actually here. You are so. Then good day to you. No. Okay. Just me with my Baldurkin's blessing once again. Um, alrighty then. I need to go shopping. Who is going to sell me... We can buy stuff from Patches. We can buy stuff from Patches. Let's try Patches. Let's see if he's got a catalyst. Someone else has got a, has got a sell one, dude. Someone's got to have one. Hello again. Hello again. Oh yeah. There's a surviving Iron Virgin, and I heard if you let yourself get caught in it... <laughs> you sneaky devil. Um, you're selling a parrying dagger and an S-stock. Okay, I'm gonna have to just... I'm gonna just run through... Stingy little beggar. <laughs> Try to find him. Um, I'm gonna try and locate some some merchants. I'm going to just hopefully be able to travel to one right now and it'll be selling what I need. And if not, I'm going to just keep trying. Oh, maybe Carly. He's like literally the first dude, isn't he? Uh, not everyone can. 
Oh, this is a glenstone staff, which needs 16 intelligence. He's also selling the astrologer set, which is really cool. Oh, he's selling smith and stones. But a limited amount of them. Alright. Why didn't I think to check with Carle first, huh? He's the basic boy. He should have one. Sir. Wait, well, you're... No, he doesn't even have weapons. Okay. Shit. Goodbye for now. Yeah, bud. Uh, my god. Anywhere that there's just a nomadic merchant next to a grace point, that's where I'm traveling for now, and then I'll have to travel to the ones that are a little bit away. Just to see. Trade again. Trade again. Bastard sword. Damn it! Timmy human mobs, I'll be fine without that, my boy. Come back for your wares later on. Right now, I've got a job to do, and it is inherently tied to catalysts. <laughs> There's got to be just someone's gonna be selling like a basic one. Back unusual to this. Now you're selling Zweihander. Right. Have a safe. Have a safe journey. Uh, there's one under. There's two underground. The merchant search begins for a catalyst, my god. Okay, so with absolutely no luck whatsoever, uh, we have not been able to find one anywhere else except for from this lovely gentleman who has the astrologer's staff, which I guess, considering it's with the astrologer, must be starting, like, a, a starting staff. Uh, it needs 16 intelligence. So I am going to need to... I'm going to need to level up once. Um, I'm going to need to level up once. And put one point into intelligence to be able to use this thing. So now I need to... Oh, I didn't even see these ones. Hold on. Um, how much is this going to give? Okay, I need to use number 10. Cash in the tenner. That's 5,000. What are we saving it up for, baby? So I can level up. <laughs> okay. That might be enough. Exactly 20,000. Yes. One point into intelligence, please. <laughs> Fire out. Okay. Now. We're now at 16 intelligence, so... <laughs> now use the astrologer staff and we can now use spells okay <laughs> done <laughs> okay that was a journey but it was worth it or is it we'll have to find out because if starlight does not work at this door <laughs> then I've just wasted so much time all right let's hope let's see so this is may erud like erudition like light the way. May erudition light the way. So I think it may be a mixture of using the starlight spell with the gesture. So here we go. I'm gonna just use the spell. Maybe I can like use it at the door. You must solve the puzzle. Okay. Um, and then use the gesture because we'll be like look. We're like looking at it almost. Yes, the seal on the rise opened. It was staring at the starlight. That's perfect. Yes, it was not a wasted effort. Yes! Good. 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 
Alright, I'm happy about that. Happy. Worth putting one point into intelligence. So we've got 16. Oh, it's one of these things. Hi! So powerful. Look at my powerful spells. Hell yeah, look at how powerful my magic is, dude. Alright, uh, shit, I don't have another weapon. Hold on a sec. I'll be with you in a moment. I gotta switch to my actual stuff. I gotta switch to my actual weapons. End. Lovely. Alright, we're a lovely balcony. So this is, this would be a way in, but I don't think there's anywhere high enough that we can, you know, get in. We made it. Magic lift. Okay. It's already open. Cannon of Hymer and the Gavel of Hymer. Ooh, got some spells. Nice. I love getting rewarded with things that are not relevant to my character. It's so good. <laughs> Lobs an explosive magic projectile in an arc, 25 intelligence, and so is the gavel of Hymer. Okay. Drawn from the scholarly conspectus of Hymer, the educator of the academy, this sorcery employs might as a means to quell conflict. Drawn from the conspectus of Hymer, the educator of the academy, this sorcery employs might as a means to quell conflict. Alright, nice. We've got some a couple of powerful spells. Um, so that's what our little that's what our little detour costed us there. That's how what our little detour costed us. Doesn't go well with the samurai stuff, does it? You kind of have to like change the whole thing. Oh, do I have the full carrion knight set? I fucking do. I do have the full carrion knight set. But now the now the shield is out of place. Now I need the carry, I can't even wield the carrion knight shield because I need fifteen intelligence. <laughs> Blue and gold could work. The marred leather shield. Go back to my brass shield. Wait a minute. My guarded damage negation going up to a hundred. Isn't the shield? Am I going crazy? The turtle shell used to be a hundred. The turtle shell was a hundred physical damage negation. Am I insane? That's going up to a hundred, that's weird. What? Okay. How does a brass shield give me f more physical damage resistance than a turtle shell? Like, that's a... That's a turtle shell, my, my brother. You don't... You don't break through those bad boys? They're literally tougher than steel. <laughs> okay. Weird. Um, I'm going to miss your great turtle shell, but we'll put on the brass one for now. Because appearances matter more than anything else in the world. Um, so we're no longer, a, no longer a samurai. We will be, though. Don't you worry. I will never ditch my sam samurai roots. I just want to fuck around with something else for a little bit. Um so confused about the shield all right let's leave so we solved the puzzle to the converted towers because we got the air edition thing um and now i need to go back to where would where do you think we'd find our oh, schoolhouse classroom that's where he'd probably be he'd be in the schoolhouse classroom because it's a classroom he'd be learning he'd be getting learned we we now have to try and find topes. Uh, classroom. Hey, you guys seen like a guy? <laughs> you guys seen like a guy around here somewhere? Where's the actual classroom part of this place? Yo, what's up? Hi. Ooh, we got sorcerer, sorcerer gaunts. Got some sorcerer handies. Hiya!
pain. Pain. I'm fat rolling. Shit. I didn't even think about my weight load. <gasps> I forgot about the pot too. Ah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dude, fat rolling is the worst. How can how can people play like this? No, oh, not the great sword. Yeah, you fuck. Wish I could change equipment while I was in the middle of doing a death attack. Okay. Hang on, I'm rocking a heavy load right now. How do I uh Oh, I'm right on the precipice, that's why. I'm right on the precipice. If I just... how much does this weigh? 11.5. Oh, cool. If I just go back to my Uji Katana. <laughs> if I just go back to that weapon. No biggie. Then it'll be fine. Yeah, we use the, use the rapier, because I've been using that a little bit. Oh fuck, I didn't even see this painting before! Renala, holy shit. I didn't even see that. Nice. Um, where is the classroom from here? Is it like up here? Oh, I didn't even see all the helmets on the, on the wall either. Just missing those cool details, man. Missing those cool details. Alright, I'm gonna leave those guys alone for a sec. What's out here again? This is the classroom. Alright. Oh, this is the Wolf of Radigan boss fight, right? No, this isn't the... I mean, this looks like it would be a classroom, but this is the parlor, isn't it? Yeah, this is the debate parlor. Hang on a minute. Schoolhouse classroom. Alright, well we gotta find him. I'll look for him until I can find him. Who's feeding all the birds at this place? There's magic birds. They're just fed by, uh... They're just fed by magic, apparently. And it's just... It's just how they work. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Is there a door here that we haven't opened before? There's a door! That would make sense. Alright, hold on. I think that there's a door that we haven't opened before. You know what? We don't even need a shield on. The only reason I even have the... The only reason I have the shield... Oh my fucking god. Look at these fucking assholes. I hate this room. Um, the only reason we even have a shield on is because of the turtle shell's ability for, for stamina. Yeah, this is fucked. I can't block with this. Hang on. There we go. I need to dual wield it to block with it. Okay. Oh, come on. Not friendly fire? No friendly fire? You can't hurt your friends? What the fuck? No friendly fire? You're kidding me. It's a giant pot. Telling me you can't fucking cause some collateral, my boy? Okay, now that was a smooth dodge of my attack there. You fucking pot. Get out of here. Get exploded. The only pot that I've killed so far that I don't think I felt remorse for. Okay, you guys need a cooldown on your fucking spells. How much FP you got? You guys aren't even Renala. I can't fucking get in! Oh, this is the worst, dude, because they're all attacking at different times. Can you stop attacking? Love of God, fucking... My one chance to attack and it fucking misses. Walk down the stairs! Last time I had to do this with my stupid little bow. Genuinely fucking ass. Oh, this is fucking ass. Fucking headbutt! 
the headbutt. Oh my god. This is the worst room. Can you guys get up the stairs, please? It's just the fact that they can, like, shoot it, like, with no gaps, man. There we go. There's two. Stop it! Fucking get bagged. You fucking slimy saucer fuck. Take a shit upon that rocky head of yours. Now, can I open this door? I can. No, I can't! Fuck! Elden Ring! It's a door that's closed from the other side. Miyazaki can lick my left nut. Uh, maybe, maybe to get to the fucking... Um, there's an item up there. Maybe to get to... There's an item up there as well, hold on. Nope. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Tope's bell bearing. Academy Glenstone staff. And... Tope's barrier. What the fuck? He just died. Alright, oh, I can't even get to this. Well, fuck. Well, we found him, because I got distracted by a stupid item <laughs> in the background. He's outside! I was literally like, oh, we might have to go down here and find a cave to end up going somewhere to get into that room so I can open the door from the other side and Topes might be behind it. That's the only reason I came out here. For God's sake. Okay. Well, we found him. He came here and died. Well, we got it, his staff. What kind of staff is that like? <laughs> well, that was just kind of disappointing. Um, oh, his staff's even more. His staff needs 28 faith. Okay, recognized sorcerer is permitted to wield this staff. Okay. We got his bell bearing. Uh, we got his barrier. The lifelong pursuit of Topes the Blundstone creates a magic force field that deflects sorceries and incantations hold to continuously create barriers. Future generations will learn. They will know the foolishness of the sneering sorcerers who ridiculed this theory, little realizing that it was in fact a discovery worthy of a new conspectus of the Academy. Oh, that's quite tragic. That is quite tragic. Alright, I'm going to go give that bell bearing to the maidens before I forget. And then I'm gonna give uh, Grank, the Beast Clergyman, one last one last hit on the head, and see if it will work. <laughs> All right, uh, Bill Bearing. Ah, Bill Bearing Shop One. There it is. We actually have the number one finally, which is the the spells. There you go. So you can still buy the Starlight, but he just he just dies. It's so bizarre. All right, let's go take on <laughs> let's go take on our Beast Clergyman once more. Once again, I'm going to give it another try. I'm almost convinced that um, it'll be tied to doing damage to him, because otherwise this is fucked. So I'm going to summon my jellyfish. My jellyfish is going to be a nice little distraction. I'm going to drink my juice, and we're going to fight this stupid idiot. All right, let's see how we go. Blood. Oh my god. He's got so much health. This is like impossible. What the fuck? Alright, my jellyfish didn't do much there. He's got... I think the fact that he has so much health makes it uh, even more, like, suspicious. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, there's gotta be fucking something to do here, and it must be like... Like, if I do enough... If I do enough damage to him, it'll be okay. Like, he'll st- like, maybe it's like... 
Maybe we just can't do enough damage to him and he'll give up the fight or some shit. I don't know. Oh my god, can you go for the jellyfish and not me, please? Fuck's sake. Oh, you got nothing to say this time, do you, bud? Nothing to say this time. Okay. Oh. A little late on that one, bud. Okay. Uh, just believe. Believe in the heart of the... Heart of the flasks. Let's go. Yeah, you're spamming that one. He's gonna kill my jellyfish before I've even fucking touched him. God damn it, dude! My jellyfish! How dare you! I hate this guy's spam. Oh, I thought he was doing the attack where he'd... Okay. This one. I thought he was... No! That was different. Looks like he's got variations of that one. I, th I was expecting him to do a different attack, and that's why I was just waiting and not attacking. Dickhead. Take my jellyfish. Keep bonking him in the head, and surely... Slowly but surely... Fuck this guy. Absolute ass hat. Stop spamming attacks at my je- Fuck you! Come on, dude. Holy fuck! My brother in Christ, you are too fucking angry. Calm yourself. You're you're not gonna get more death through if you keep act, if you keep acting up like this. This is actually insane. Why is he like this? Oh, why is he so fast? Like, how is he so fast? He needs to play by the rules. If you're much larger, you move in slow motion. Those are the <laughs> rules. <laughs> you can't move fast when you're big. It doesn't work that way. This poor little jellyfish. Go for the jellyfish, not me. Oh. I can't even hit him, dude! <laughs> See, he has like an AoE version of that, and I, I don't, can't fucking tell which one he's gonna do. God damn it. Oh, that's a rock. Again. Fucking God. Oh, fucking hell. We didn't even... I barely even touched him. I didn't even have to do much damage to him at all. Oh, you suck. <laughs> you fucker. You better not attack me. Put it away. I won't forget. Again. My appetite. My sin. So please. Enough. Put it away. I want mine. So please. Nice, you fucking scumbag. Okay. So you just had to, like, hit him, like, what? Like, three times? <laughs> I, we must have gotten close so many times, and maybe it's like a damage threshold or something. We barely even had to touch his health. Oh, okay. Well, 
We, we calmed the fucking guy down. There you go. Lovely. Next time on Elden Ring, we're going to go hang out with Blythe uh, and go down um, Shifra. Shifra River. Why don't we go over there now? Where do we need to go? Here. Where the nomadic watching is. Uh, the river well. Let's go to the Mistwood outskirts. Next time on Elden Ring, we're going to go down this well with Blythe uh, in the search of Nokron, the Eternal City, which is very, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, we have a lot more to do in regards to up this way as well. Uh, we've got Sorcerer's Isle to figure out. Um, I've got to figure out the Carrion Study Hall. There are all these things that are still on my mind uh, for us to for us to do. Uh, if we haven't even gone over here yet, uh, but I I'm excited at this notion of working together uh, with with Blythe under the orders of um, Rani herself to go and search for Nokron, the Eternal City. So that's really neat. We're going to do that next time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. It has been a blast discovering some things. Rest in peace to my boy Topes, who uh, stuck his Topes a little too deep into magic and unfortunately met his end. Was he reading a book and then he was killed by a zombie? Who knows? Who knows? Only time will tell. Um, is Blythe outside or is he waiting for me down there? Who knows? Because he's not... That's the abandoned merchant, because he's not marked on here. You in here? No. We'll go find him next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.